What's up guys, welcome back to another Watch Dogs game, and today we actually do have sort of a tutorial, and uh, we're not necessarily experts, me and Tim, on this at all, but we are just have been really contemplating what the best uh, skills here are in this game, and we've come down to the conclusion that the best three trees you're going to want to invest in are remote control, vehicle hacking, and social engineering. This we will give you probably the most like um, it will give you the best skills to be able to like play this game how the game I guess kinda wants you to play it. I mean there's stuff like marksmanship and stuff that you can use if you want to just go in guns a blazing and everything and like these other things tinkering and city disruption you know could be used too but from what I've you know played in the game previously the most important ones that I've come to find, or the ones that I think I will use the most, are these three, social engineering, vehicle hacking, and remote control. Now, as we take a closer look into you know, the skill tree, there's some stuff in here, obviously, that you don't necessarily need to use that, uh, you know, like all the time. Like, I personally have never used this skill, environmental RC. I, you know, I, I just haven't had the and the amount of time that I've played the game previously um, I never needed to use it I didn't beat the game but I had gotten far enough to a point where I felt like if I had certain things that I wouldn't need the other things you know so it's not necessarily for these first few ones that you're trying to get this it's for the end product and the end product of the uh, what which which one is this this is the um, the re remote control the end product of the remote control uh, skill tree is to be able to equip your jumper and quad uh, quadcopter with these little like zapper slash exploding bomb things you can drop ones that'll blow stuff up such as that or ones that will you know just drop like stuff that'll shock them like like right here with the jumper and put them to sleep it'll still you know do stuff around it but um I found that the way I was playing the game, this was probably the most helpful because with the quadcopter, you can just fly in pretty much from anywhere and be able to take out, you know, an army of people by dropping these uh, remote gadgets. And so I figured this would be uh, very helpful to start to try and get early on in the game. It only takes eight uh, skill points, and I think that after you get the environmental RC, you're then able to get any of these three uh, items. As far as the ones down here, uh, none of these I found really, um, you know, helpful or, or anything that, that I, you know, anything that I would really need. Um, so I didn't really invest in them. But uh, I would highly suggest to invest here in the remote gadgets. Now moving on to our vehicle hacking, this one I found to be probably the most effective early on in the game. Since you are able to control cars and, and, I mean, you know, you can't just remote control them, like to do whatever you want and drive them remotely or anything, but you can make them do small things like get off the road, like when you're trying to get away from the cops as you just saw, or have them run into people or, or make it so that the, your enemies don't have cover anymore or whatever. So that was very helpful and it's very, you know, the very first skill you can get. So that was uh, a nice perk to have. Um, also vehicle hijacking uh, makes it so you can get in any car, you know, undetected and uh, as if it were your own car, which is nice because um, when I was playing it, I never, I don't know if you're able to get your own car in the game or not, but I never had my own one. And so it's real nice after some mission, you know, you'll just spawn and won't have a car in front of you or anything and you can just walk up to uh you know find the nearest car with nobody in it that's parked and just you know take it for your own and that was nice and uh up here the chopper retreat exploit um when you get like uh, you know when the cops are coming after you and you get a lot of stars and you know it's always harder to get away from the police when there's um and there's that uh, helicopter spotlight on you you know like i found myself time and time again running from the police and uh, 
I would get away from all the cars and everything, but wouldn't be able to get away from the uh, helicopter. So I think this, I haven't used this perk or anything, but I think this would come in handy a lot uh, for some of the missions that you go in a little more uh, loud, you know, rather than sneaky and you might get caught. So this would be uh, very helpful. As far as this other stuff, uh, having the boost, you know, is a nice little perk that you could get. I never had it, but uh, I had driven cars with it. I think there's one mission where you're in a car that has the boost, and it's it's pretty nice. Um, massive vehicle hack is just kind of, you know, you're able to just m create mayhem with, with a bunch of different cars and stuff like that. Could be helpful, but it still never used it. Um, and then you can do this with uh, reduce the just reduce the cost of using botnets for it, which is always nice. Moving on to our last tree, or you know, our last of the important trees, is social engineering. Now, from what I've read online, some of the funnest times you can have playing the game is when you either call in like a gang you know, with gang war, skirmish, or gang attack. Uh, to attack somebody at random that you just choose, you know. Um, I've heard that that's really fun. Or having the police do it. So you can really, you know, choose which one you would rather have as a, uh, I guess, an ally, you know, to take somebody out or to arrest somebody. But these, I felt like were, or I felt like one would come in handy because, um, you know, if you're in a mission and you don't want to get caught, but you need to uh, take somebody out or you're going to have a tough time getting around everybody without going in loud or something, you can, uh, you know, call in your buddies, the gangsters or the police and have them, uh, you know, you just make it loud for you rather than just you yourself being a one man army. And I thought that that would be helpful. Up here, you've got uh, uh, just um, making it so that you can. Uh, get more money from people on the street through their their account and everything because at first you can't do that very you know you get a little bit of money but not a lot um i didn't find this too uh necessary simply because um you can find money everywhere in this game by just uh, finding money bags and stuff on the map um this is just uh making everybody like all you know just disoriented with their cell phones and everything and you can just distract everybody for a little bit and uh, helps in missions but I also did never caught myself using this either and then this is just you know making it so that uh, using your botnets is, is less which is always nice so as far as those go I think the three uh, skills that I would use most would probably be the remote gadgets um, probably the helicopter and all these driving ones and then uh, calling in calling in the uh, the police or the gangsters to do it so with that information you know you guys can use this as much as you want obviously you're also gonna need to put in some into botnets just to get uh, more botnets so that you can you know hack more stuff or you know whatever um, so that's always helpful and be sure to uh, you know, sprinkle some points into there so that you're not running out of botnets all the time. And, uh, yeah, that's my, uh, tutorial for you guys on, uh, on the, uh, Watch Dogs skill trees. If you have any other information that you would like to add or, uh, you know, if you think I'm wrong and there's something I'm missing here, leave a comment. And, uh, please like this video if it helped you out at all, guys. And uh, subscribe to our channel for, you know, our, we're going to be doing our, our walkthrough, kind of, or not our walkthrough, but our how to not play videos on this uh, game and stuff like that. So if you like Watch Dogs 2, stay tuned for that. And there's plenty of other stuff for you guys who don't like Watch Dogs 2. So please just go check out the channel. And I will see you guys later.